days. Who's going to know it? Yeah. Who's going to know it? That's right. Um, did, you, did Alan ever tell you the story? Oh, about Karen? No. Heaven? Trying to, uh, yeah, the heaven. I'm sure he told you about that. No, I, I, I can't tell it until I... I'll tell it to you when I remember the oh. whole thing. Oh. Which one? Tell us. There's some way he has a phrasing thing. But I need the background. What? Uh, he Miriam, was telling what? me about he, uh, Alan was telling me about how he followed him to college. Yeah. Like his mom called him, his mom called him and was like, oh, great news. <laughs> 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 yeah, she, she, yeah, she was so proud of Sam, Sam was on bed and Alan was, you know. <laughs> I, I can't hear you. No way. He's deaf. No, it's just. His mother was, their mother was somebody very, very special. They were not allowed that she said what she wanted to say when she wanted to say it, right? Sylvia. Sylvia. Do you, do you know, you probably heard that when my mother died, Miriam and Maury came to the house for a week or two. We didn't know, I mean, we didn't know what hit us. My mother, I don't, I don't know if she literally dropped dead of an aneurysm one day. And we were all, Glenn, you were home, Shut right? And Alan was in New York, and I was in Washington, and was Sam Alan was in at college. York? Yeah. And we California. all came in. Yeah, he was and, in California. Yeah. You know, no, and my wasn't. father just, he lived in and with the five of us, we were, yeah. like, Sam wasn't quite an adult, but we were, we, did, we were shell-shocked. Miriam came in, and just, you know, started cooking and organizing and my father said to me, get rid of your mother's clothes tomorrow. So she helped me do it. I couldn't do it. And my mm. father, I, he wanted things done and I, I just couldn't do it. Mm. Miriam shepherded us through that week. Mm. She really did. That's and so she she took each one of them down separately to the freezer and said, okay, you Come need on. to know how to hear. This is, that, that's the, the, the meat. That's here? the vegetables. Is this that one's chicken? ready to no, go. No, that's meatball. Like, <laughs> this is... And I wrote, she you quizzed, she quizzed she, each she, kid on the freezer. You know, the inter I don't know if I did, told, I told you, the interesting thing in the middle of all this, Eddie walks in and he says, I'm going crazy. He says, I can't find the key to the vault. And I don't know, somebody was watching over us. I said, it's in the kitchen in the top right floor. Look, pull out all the papers out and you'll find the key. And sure enough, he did. I don't know where it came from. I have never worked in that house. The vault, there's a vault in the house? No, no, in the bank. The it's bank a safe deposit oh. house. Safe deposit oh. And I found that. I don't know where it came from, where I said. Wow. Yeah. What was in there? <laughs> and and, and uh, what was in it? Oh. Well, there, was, there were papers and everything else that was in there. You know, that you would oh. find. But he was, you know, really needed them. And he needed everything. And, but you, the kids, they, they were great. They all. Pitched in there were wonderful. None of us had been through no, that we experience. We were useless. We were zombies. <laughs> I didn't think so. I thought you were all wonderful. I don't know. <laughs> I, was too in <laughs> I remember the first time we laughed. <laughs> we, were, we were sitting in the limo. The first time we laughed, we <laughs> broke out hysterically laughing. A friend of mine was always notoriously late. Not 20 minutes. Not 20 wow. minutes. <laughs> Glenn's whole life, this friend was late. He was that way. Was that a Lebowitz? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Scott Lebowitz. Scott Lebowitz. So we pile into the limo after the temple service, and this is before we go to the cemetery. And we're all like, we didn't know what hit us. And all of a sudden, Scott comes driving up, having missed the funeral by an hour. And Dad started laughing hysterically. Yeah, there's Scott, late as ever. And <laughs> we all just burst out laughing. Wow. Comic relief. But, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. The so, amount of people that came. Yeah. What's your favorite story about Maury? How much I love him. Oh. How, how happy I am. What I've had 32 wonderful years. Made up for the rest of the others. Oh. You know, you are, the, the, I, it's the peace I have. It's the, 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 my, I mean, I'm, you all think I'm a little nutty, I know that. But we have we have a peaceful life. It's a beautiful, it looks like a beautiful life. It really it is does. a beautiful yeah. life. I am very blessed. Let's go. I'm going to be going to come. I'm going home tonight. No McClendon. Yeah, McClendon. 
That's the point. Yeah. 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 That's all I could wish for all of you to enjoy the night. And with your white family. And my sister, of course. That goes without saying. I mean, that's Levine's. We're a bunch of Levine's that are very special. Levine's, yeah. All of us. Mm. Yeah. Not the tobacco. Well, both of them. Both of That's what I said, both of them. That's true. Oh, you yeah. know how to get a mention in here. <laughs> yeah. All right, Anne, give her a kiss just for the camera. Oh. Um, mm. Love you all. Love you all. Very nice. Yeah. All right, now we can go. I'll let you go home. We yeah, said I'd like to get some rest. Meat. Yeah. I got to take my plane is what, a 10 something. I don't know. You'll give me the paper. Oh, gosh. We'll work it out. Not at night. No, I know. In the morning. In the morning. Yeah. Hopefully you'll sleep. Let's have water. Let's have water. We're probably going to get a car. We're going to get a car or I'm going to go with her. I'll drive. We will accompany her.